In my 10 years experience as a conductor and an engineer at the railroad, the railroad is an extremely dangerous place. I was injured on a locomotive just like that one right there, and the seat I was on collapsed. And when it collapsed, it ruptured disc in my lower back and in my neck. I was a local chairman, and I enjoyed helping people as a local chairman. And when I became injured and the doctor told me I could no longer go back to work for the railroad, I still wanted to be a part of the railroad. You know, my grandfather was a carman for 40 years. My uncle just retired with just under 40 years. It, it's a, a big camaraderie between the, the employees on the tracks. Railroad is a different beast. It's not like the banking industry or construction. Everyone here comes together. We have the common goal. Uh, it's a dangerous industry. I mean, we all have to take care of each other. We are our brother's keeper. The most commonly asked question that, that I get when, with an injured railroad worker is, what do I do? What are my rights? How do I protect myself and my family? I've been there uh, and I've been in your shoes. The mission of rail justice is to inform those who have been injured by the railroad. I believe that rail justice is definitely designed to help educate railroad workers and employees um, because there is so many dangerous places out on the railroad, more than one would even think that is there. Always be aware of your surroundings. Um, never get complacent with your job and your duties. Doesn't matter if you've been out here a week, a month, 20 years, danger is always around the corner.